What's going on guys, today we'll be installing the OEM lighted LED door sill for the VBWX. Alright, here's what comes with the kit. Of course, we got the two lighted door sill along with some foam tape and four zip ties. I'll be leaving the protective film in place until I am done installing it. I'll be using a trim removal tool. I'll put a link down in the description below. First off, we'll need to pry off this uh, back side. And the whole thing will just pull uh, straight up. The uh, four side is a little bit harder to remove. Uh, you may have to push down on the other trim piece that's just on the four side while you pull this back trim piece up. And here you can see where the clips are. All right, next I'm gonna move the driver's seat all the way back so I can get more space. All right, next uh, to remove this Ford trim piece, we'll need to remove this push clip. Uh, you can try to use a trim tool to pry it out, but I found that you can unscrew it uh, counterclockwise and uh, doing so will reduce uh, the risk of damaging it. And then this uh, trim piece, uh, you can just pull it towards the passenger side. There's just a couple of uh, push clips that's holding it in. Sometimes those push clips get stuck on the car and come off of the trim piece. Uh, if that happens, just uh, pry it off of the uh, car and then uh, install it on the trim piece before you install the trim piece back on. Next, I'm going to connect the connector on the door sill uh, to the connector that's uh, under the dash. Just right there. It's a little bit tricky to get this on because uh, the clearance is so tight and uh, the harness that's on a car uh, it's pretty short and before proceeding further uh, I just want to make sure that uh, with the door open and interior light on that it is actually working next I'll be wrapping two pieces of foam tape around the connector We'll use two zip ties to uh, tie the line in place so that it doesn't move around and vibrate. Next, we'll install the uh, four trim piece. Uh, once you get it lined up, you can feel the uh, push clips uh, sitting in the, uh, the hole on the car. Obviously, we'll also need to make sure that the hole for the exterior push clip is also lined up. Once you line it up, you can just push it in place. This clip, you can either uh, screw it back in or just uh, kind of push it in. For the door sill itself, uh, just line up the clip with the hose and uh, obviously make sure you're not pinching the wire. Push it in place and you're all set. Now the best part is removing this protective film. And once done, you just do the basically the exact same thing on the passenger side and you're all set. Alright guys, and here is the before. Looks plain Jane. And here is the after during the daytime. It looks so much more classy. I have to say this is probably my favorite mod so far, or at least, you know, the top three. Alright. And here is how it looks at night. It's just beautiful. I 
found a uh, pretty good website to buy this at a pretty good discount compared to other sites that sells OEM parts. And I'll put a link down in the description below. And this video is not sponsored by the way. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching and hit the like and subscribe button. And let me know what you think about this mod in the comments below.